Hello and welcome to another video game review here from Sanitarium.fm with me, your reviewer, the predicted cyborg, uh, with a new game for you. So this week it's a slightly strange one, I must admit. A fishing MMO game by the name of World of Fishing. It was developed by Masang Soft Inc. Might have very slightly mispronounced that, and was published by Incel Games Limited. It was released on the 6th of September this year. It's been out for just over a month on Steam, although I think it was out elsewhere before then. And it does require you to actually get a third party account from Incel Games to play this game. It is free to play though, I must say. So, what is the world of fishing? The world of fishing, as I say, listed as a fishing MMO style game. It starts off with a fairly detailed tutorial, although the voice acting I think leaves a little bit to de be desired, honestly, which will sort of teach you all about the game and how to do things, from casting to steering your boat and all those sort of things. After you've done the tutorial, you will be given your first location you can go to, to go and catch fish. Now how do you progress through this game? You are given a series of goals and tasks and little challenges that are set, which you can access through your email, and you activate those challenges to take them up. You go and you complete the challenges, and then you go and redeem your reward in the, the task bar, the mission bar and get your reward through the emails. And those rewards can be anything from from shells, which are the in-game currency, which you can use to various items that let you sort of upgrade what you're doing. Like, for example, some of the first rewards you get, you will get stuff like a new boat and some clothing and everything, which will give you various boosts, like some things will allow you to be better at managing the tension on your line when you're trying to hook a fish, or some items will give you more experience when you are actually catching a fish. If you're successful, you catch your mate will give you experience to help you level up. Uh, now, in typical MMO or maybe RPG fashion, your character does have some stats and is customizable. As I said, part of the things you can win for the tasks and goals set for you to complete, you can win clothing, you can grab a boat, and your fishing rod itself is actually customizable. It comes in three parts. You have the actual rod part, which is, well, I don't really need to explain what the rod part of the fishing rod is, do I? Uh, you can also get reels, and you can also get other lines, and they allow you to catch bigger fish without having probably as much trouble as you usually would do, because the basic what you start off with isn't very good at catching larger fish. You also start out with a certain type of bait, which is the small shrimp, which uh, the majority of the fish, if not all of them, in the first area you go to, they all like small shrimp to varying degrees, but as part of the shop, which is included in this game, you can buy items which you can, again, like new boats and reels and lines and everything, but you can also buy different types of bait. The small shrimp is completely infinite, you will never run out of the small shrimp, you will always have it with you, so you will always have some bait. However, any other types of bait that you buy from the shop, they're, they're limited, you usually get about 30 per purchase, and that means you can only cast the rod with that particular bait 30 times. Now you might wonder, well why do I need to buy different baits if they will all respond to the small shrimp? It's only in the first area that they will probably all respond to the small shrimp at varying levels. Some have their way down their preference levels. Because if you go into a game you will see for each fishing spot there is a line of the certain types of marine life you can catch in each area. Some of them are not fish, so you've got stuff like crabs in there as well. And hovering over them will tell you what fish it is and also give you a list of things that they prefer. Now, as I say, most of them in the first area will go for the small shrimp, but there are some that prefer other things like anchovies or true lugworms or something like that over the small shrimp. And in later areas that you can access as you level up, 
there are some fish that aren't going to go for the small shrimp at all, so you need the other types of baits to catch them. Of course, what fish you actually catch, uh, that, that kind of depends on what the game is going to give to you. You can get an underwater camera to see what fish is coming for you, but I don't really think you're able to stop a fish from grabbing onto your hook, even if you can see it with the underwater camera. Underwater camera, by the way, that also has limited uses. And you don't really need it to catch a fish, so I don't really use it all that much, to be honest. Now, this game, this is, as I said, it's it's an MMO, strangely enough. I say strangely enough because this game is a little bit unusual in that respect. Yes, there are other players that you can see in the same server, and you will sometimes get like little pop-ups to show you when they've successfully caught a fish, but there's not really a great deal of interacting with them. I think they're setting up guilds in the game. I know that the text chats there was certainly there's one person advertising their guild there, but other than talking to people over the chats and doing PvP matches where you each go and try and catch the biggest fish in a certain amount of time, there's really not that much of a multiplayer element to it. It's kind of a single-player game with shared servers, more than anything. Which doesn't mean it's a bad game, it's just not very good for interacting if that's what you're there for. Now, fishing itself, it's, it's not actually that bad. As I say, you have a boat, you steer it around, and each fishing spot you go to will have different types of fish. You will be notified every single time you change to a different fishing spot and then you can evaluate the fish which are there and cash your rod if you are interested. Your boat does need refueling after a while, but you get so many refills for logging in every single day, so you're probably not going to be uh, without fuel at any point if you are vigilant and watch it and save your fuel sparingly. Now, you can cast your line out, and then when you get a bite, you will be presented with a little screen which will show the bobber going up and down and what you need to do you need to hold your mouse and when you feel it's right you need to pull back to try and hook the fish the best part of the time to hook it will be when the bobber does go completely under the water but you are still able to hook it at uh, any point other than that of course if you get a better hook it will tire the fish out more and that's the entire point really of the fishing mini game which is a massive part of world of fishing. The point of it is once you have a fish on the line hooked you need to tire it out and to do that you need to make sure that it doesn't reel out too far, you need to make sure that it doesn't get too close and you need to make sure there isn't too much tension on the line otherwise the line will snap. And when the fish is actually sort of tugging on the line what you can do you can choose to hold your mouse and swipe it to one side violently which will knock some of the fish's health off. Once the fish is completely tired out, it, you can then reel them in and choose what you want to do with it. You can choose either to release it back into the water or you can choose to put it in your life tank which is a container on your boat which varies in size depending on if you have any upgrades to it and what boat you have. But fish that you can take back to the dock and then sell on for more shells. Also while you're fishing, when you get a successful catch, sometimes you will have a chance to find what is called a fortune card, which is a... I wouldn't say it's a rare thing, but it is certainly uncommon to get it. And when you play a fortune card, what you do is you choose how many you want to use. You are then presented with a line of items in which you could win, and the fortune card will randomly choose one that you uh, win as a prize, and this can be stuff like lines and rods and gear and... Sometimes items that you can sort of sell on to the shop to get a certain amount of shells, like a thousand or maybe ten thousand shells. So, would I recommend World of Fishing to a friend? It completely depends what sort of friend. I must admit, when I first heard I was going to review this game, I wasn't... I didn't have high hopes for it, I must admit. But strangely enough, I kind of... I actually kind of like it. It's not that bad a game. As I say, if you're coming in looking for multiplayer interaction, I don't think you're going to get an awful lot of it here. However, if you do come in looking for something that's nice to sort of chill out to for a bit, yeah, this this game will do that. It ticks that box. I'm not sure 
um, how long you could actually sit there and play it, but I have actually been playing it for a good a period of a good few hours, so you know it, it's it's nice and chilled, sort of relaxed too. Not really as bad as the mixed reviews on Steam kind of make it out to be. It, you just need to be the certain type of person that would like this game, and I kind of do actually, um, despite everything. Okay, and that does it for this review. This has been another review from the Sanitarium.fm, Gamer Radio, and other things besides. You have been watching this review, which was World of Fishing, published by Incel Games and developed by Masang Soft Inc. Remember to tune in to our radio shows, read our articles, and stay tuned to this YouTube channel for more reviews like this. And if you're interested, go give World of Fishing a try. It is a free-to-play game, so you you know you're not going to be wasting any money on it if you stay away from the in-game purchases, at least. I will see you for the next review next time. Bye bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out some of these other videos from sanitarium.fm and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. The information is right below that big shiny subscribe button.